Right, for this um, next stage of the build, um, I'm going to be filling in the uh, inside of the bow and the stern, and um, I'm thickening it up and strengthening it. And what I use for that is this stuff, which is basically it's like a um, it's fiber class. I'm trying to do it without. Yeah, it's just this horrible, itchy fiberglass waste. I think this is, but it's it's great for what I want. Okay, um, you can buy this from the same place I get everything else. It's pretty cheap. I think you buy it by uh, weight, and, uh, but it's ideal. What I use is an old um, tin. You know, I think this is an old baked beans can or something. Give it a good clean out, make sure it's dry before you put any resin in it. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll put some resin in it and then use this stuff to thicken that right up. And what I use it for is I'll uh, just uh, to bear with me a minute. Okay, in the um, the bow and the uh, the stern there. You've got the the seam that runs right up the centre. So um, I mean, some people use like a filler or fillet. Um, this stuff is so cheap and it's it's fiberglass fibres, and when you mix it up, all the fibres are in every different direction. So it's going to be really really tough. Um, because this part of the <coughs> canoe, <coughs> you know, you know, this is the part which will probably take a lot of knocks and all the rest of it, knocks and bumps, you know, when you're landing, hitting the riverbanks, you know, that kind of stuff, or landing on beaches or what have you. So basically, I'll be on the inside that stuff's going to go, and I'll be going around about that far back and then leveling it off. Um, I'm going to do a warm mix with it so I can work it with my hands putting it all in the only way really to get that in is with your hands um, it's it's not difficult to work with but that's going to go on the inside filling this up so it's basically like a big bumper that I'm making on the inside of there any small gaps or anything like that would be filled with it and then um, once that um, starts curing then what I've done for the inside is I've just randomly cut up small pieces of the 75mm tape and I'll be using just resin in that pot, 2 inch brush and I'll be putting that on on the inside covering this stuff and you know, sealing the two sides of the panel and encasing all that padding if you like and the reason I've got these in such short pieces is because um, it's curved from the inside like you know it's um, to keep it all in one length as soon as you can't start going sort of over with the tape it starts buckling up so it just looks really messy so to keep it nice and tidy it's uh, it'd be cool so uh, but I've still got a little bit of um, tightening on the ties first so I'm going to pull all those in to close those gaps right up and um, but as you can see I've done that end already because I had to have the boat out because the wall was in the way so I've done that end so I'm going to go and tighten that up and then I'll start filleting it and uh, I'll show you once that's filleted and taped so you can see it and now I'll move on to the next stage. Once that's filleted and taped, then the boat's gonna be turned over and I can start working on the outside. Okay. Right, I'll see you soon. Right, as you can see, it looks like an awful mess. <laughs> yeah, because it is a messy job and it's very spiky and, and all that at the moment. Very sort of, um, 
it's not dead smooth and all the rest of it so you know I just let that turn a little bit so it becomes almost you know like soft goo if you like you know it's almost putty like if you like and then um, I will run the tape over and then that obviously then smoothens it all out you know because I'm using the brush and all, and the rest of it so uh, that'd be done so um, so yeah do that both ends uh, so I'm just going to let that cure off a little bit like I said to it's almost I can work it so when I do push it with my thumb it stays in that position if you know what I mean and uh, you don't because when, when you withdraw your hands or your thumbs from it or something that's when it it will spike out on you you know I don't want that sort of thing because they're, they're the bulkheads you can put stuff in it and the thing with fiberglass if it dries and hardens spiky yeah, I mean it's sharp it's, it's, it's quite horrible you know um, yeah one other thing as well when you're mixing this stuff in the tin where is it yeah anyway when you're mixing it put your resin in the tin first and then add your fiberglass fibers yeah mix that up so all the fibers are soaked in resin yeah and then once you're happy with it and say for each end of this build I've, I've used about three quarters of a tin that's how much um, mixture I've got in there once it's all wet and you know you can see all the fibers are wet it, it does turn a different color then you had your hardener you add the hardener once you've got it all mixed don't put your resin any hardener in and then start mixing it all up yeah um, and don't be a bit don't be too shy with the the hardener I put about 20 mils in you know that little mix you know so it really does work its way in so um, right so I'm gonna let that settle and then once I've done the taping on there I'll uh, I'll go through the taping I'll show you the taping once it's done and how I, I didn't show you actually how I actually lay out the tape well how I wet it out if you like um, I'll just demonstrate a little bit I'll just spin this round right say if I was wetting out this piece here with this bit of tape just for example um, like I said all these would be cut like you've seen on the previous video all dry cut and laid out and then I'd mix my resin and then what I'd do I'd go from one section you know take it you know move along in each section I would wet out on the wood first yeah so brush some resin down which is the size and the width of the piece of tape you're going to use but just slightly over uh, yeah and then once that's wet out then lay your tape on top and then with the brush your resin brush then basically it's just a case of dabbing it and this will then change color from white it's just obvious you'll know that it's wet with resin yeah and if you do go skew with and stuff you can just by dabbing motions you can keep dabbing dabbing like that and you can center it again okay that's how I went out um, I mean this is quite thin stuff I suppose if you had a separate piece of board you could have all these strips laid out and you could wet all the strips out and then lay it straight on wet but, um, I find it just you know there's resin underneath the tape you're dabbing down with resin on the brush as well so that kind of works okay right get back to soon once I've um, tidied up these these end bits with the tape okay that's all taped now still looks a little bit odd but um, you know this is I know it's not going to be sharp now it's, it is you know a little uneven a bit lumpy or what have you but um, the the bulkhead is going to be fitted around here the sealed bulkhead that's all going to be sealed um, I mean the only real 
I mean, with the tape over the top, there's not going to be anything sharp. So if you put anything in there, like a dry bag or anything like that, it's not going to cause it any damage. You know, it's. Uh, but you know, I just know now the front, uh, the bound stern of this canoe, once that is all hardened, is going to be like a. I mean, that's a strong buffer. <laughs> you know, it might look a little bit unsightly, but. Uh, it's all going to be painted out on the inside there as well so uh, yeah so they're done so I'm just going to let that tape settle a little bit and then get this turned over start working the outside okay I'll catch you soon right as you can see I've got it turned over um, You can have some idea of the shape of the bottom if I try and get it. You know, it's got a nice little tumble home on there, which is quite cool. So, these little ties and bits of wire, right, that's the next job. They're coming out. Um, and start getting all the uh, these edges down a little bit. Okay, and then whatever little gap I'm left with, fill fill that in, and then uh, jobs are good and ready for the tape. Then once that's taped, I'll probably um, leave it upside down for the second. Um, just give this this panel, the bottom panel, and this panel. A resin wash um, and let that settle let it cure off turn it back over and um, then start all the interior stuff the bulkheads um, fitting the seat supports securely properly glued everything and I normally run a little piece of tape underneath the actual suit um, seat support for a bit of extra strength and so that'd be my next stage is to get them in okay all right as you can see he's done all the fillet in now and uh it's looking a pair of rough old boots <laughs> but, uh, no, it'll, uh, it's all part of the process So basically what I've done, I've just filleted all of these joins basically right at the bottom. Um, I was going to do all the way, I was going to do the last one as well, but I changed my mind because it's a lot of bending down, so I'll wait. I'm going to take the bottom up and then uh, I'll turn it back over once it's dry, fill it the other side uh, panel, and then... Uh, take that up when, once that's ready I'll be getting on with uh, cutting the bulkheads so, yeah, come back a bit. I've actually found as well um, I was using a fillet knife most of the way and then I just put a couple of pairs of gloves on and actually rubbed it in with my hands it was uh, it's quite good it actually worked so uh, just got myself another new little technique okay